Hi everyone, my name is Tia and I'm doing my first review on a product I just tried. Um, I'm doing the Overtone Purple Pastel. It's a deep conditioner, weekly treatment, and it's awesome. But I'm going to kind of give you some tips on how to do it and also my honest opinion on it. Um, I definitely think I should have tried a different color to get what I wanted and I'm going to kind of go over that. So I got to fly, try my first crazy hair color and it's because, congratulations to me, I just got my first online marketing gig where I can work at home full time. So I don't have to go into an office and look all professional. So just to go over this product, I got the pastel, it's purple. Um, you can tell it's not very dark inside and I've used about half of it to get this and I have really thin hair. Also, I just kind of want to tell you I didn't have the widest hair. Um, I'll kind of give you an example. So I had just a couple shades lighter than this. Um, it does look lighter in this video because of the natural lighting. And after two applications, I got this. So it's kind of a good example. And it was two applications. So I would give you a tip. Um, people recommend using gloves. I actually didn't because I didn't like the feel and it didn't do too much damage to my nails. Um, if you can see this, it's not too bad. It's just under my nails, but that's because it's purple and it did de didn't deposit that much. So all you have to do is I would recommend doing dry hair, not wet hair. It doesn't take in the color as much and it was harder to see which parts you missed, definitely do dry hair. The first round I did, I did dry hair or wet hair and it didn't get all the pieces, it didn't get as saturated and the color didn't show up as well. So this is actually the second round of putting it in. I put it in for an hour with my hair wet. I took it out and it was barely, barely purple. Um, I will put a picture right here. So just look at the picture, you can see I could barely see any purple. So what I would recommend is actually getting a darker shade of purple. Don't get the pastel purple and then just dilute it with conditioner. Um, as you can see, this is two rounds and it's barely purple. I mean it's pastel, but it's barely purple. Um, just to kind of give an example, this is kind of a pastel pink color, okay? And when I was looking for reviews for overtone and pastel, all I could find was pink. And it's because the product is actually brighter. It's not like a pastel color, it's a brighter shade, kind of like hot pink-ish, a light hot pink, and then it turns to pastel. That's great. This you put on and it's light pastel and it's barely deposited to my hair so I just really wish I would have got the medium shade, the vibrant purple and then I can just dilute it. So how I applied it is I put it into sections and I did the bottom first like this, put my hair up and then I just put clumps of it in like that. Um, what's great about not using the brush is you can pull it down, make sure it's even, saturate it, and just do a lot. Get it all saturated. And then you just do it in strips all the way around, small strips so you can make sure and get the middle of the hair and then also do the top. And I left it on for an hour. I don't know if that's necessary. I just really wanted to get kind of a darker shade than this. And all in all, it's a great product. It smells delicious. Um, it's like minty. My hair is super shiny. Um, I got two hours of deep treatment of conditioner, so yay me. Um, I would recommend lighter shade of hair. So I had, you know, pretty blonde hair, but if I had white hair or super bleached or just processed, highlighted, I think it would have taken a little better. But it's been a while since I dyed my hair. Also, if you can tell, I have roots at the top. 
they're a little darker and you can see it didn't take. It's kind of like a medium ashy blonde. So you can kind of see that result. Definitely a light blonde hair white would work best and I think for the pastel shades you really got to have that bleach blonde hair. Really white, really light color. Um, I think the reason why I didn't find any reviews or pictures of the pastel purple is because it just didn't work that well and so people didn't really want to show it off. Um, I searched on Instagram, on Google, on YouTube, and I just couldn't find any. I found lots of purple and that is why. I went and took a risk and I got the pastel purple anyways. Um, I don't regret it, but I just wouldn't recommend it. Um, I don't know if I showed you already, but this is the color. So yeah, it, it worked, but that was two treatments, two hour treatments. So, just FYI. I do recommend this product though. Um, I've heard with the viral Celeb Luxury product that you put it in your hair just at, you know, as a shampoo. And I've heard it works really well, at least the pink color does. But, it dries out your hair and it deposits a color and where this one is a conditioner, so you can leave it on as long as possible, and it conditions your hair, it makes it better. So I definitely think, so far, Overtone, I would recommend. Um, and I've heard and seen reviews on the pink pastel, and it worked great. So, go for pink pastel, that's great, or go for the bright purple, or the viral purple, can't remember what color it is. Not the extreme, there's three levels. And there's also a daily conditioner that you can put in for pastel or whatever when you choose just to keep the color. And I didn't get that, but I would recommend that and I'm going to give it a try. And I think one of my next videos, I'm going to do this Vibrant Silver. I didn't get pastel, I got Vibrant. So look for my future videos. I'm going to give that one a try and I'm really excited. Alright, have a great day. Have a great day guys and let me know what you think, um, if you want me to try any other colors, um, how it worked for you. Please anyone if they tried the pastel purple and it worked great or it didn't, let me know. Leave a comment below.